Hi, this is Steve Dogs. This is Geocache 365. So we're over here in the Milwaukee area and over here for work, but that doesn't stop us from caching while we uh, are traveling. So on the way back to Twin Cities, we've stopped here at a beautiful park and ride, which is nobody's occupied. Uh, it's a real quick find, uh, not too bad. when you're traveling, especially when you're doing it for work. So, anyway, have a good day. Bye. This is going to be part two for our entry for today. Um, I decided while well, Mark is actually out signing in the log on a, a cache that we also stopped to grab, um, we happened to buy a uh, buy one here while we had to stop for some some coffee because it's cold and a sandwich because we're hungry. Um, it's part of the Wisconsin Rustic Road series. There's actually a number of um, it's like a historically marked rustic road signs um, and there's a cache there's a series of caches uh, along the way and it just happened to fall within our query um, I figured it was worth noting if you're not familiar with pocket queries if you're going on a trip it is the best way to keep yourself entertained um, without having to do a lot of searching um, on your iPhone or on the computer while you're driving we use a pocket query coming home from Milwaukee um, it has all the caches mapped out for us that is that um, are within half a mile um, of the interstate that we're taking home um, and also have been found in the last seven days um, since those of you that know this is January 30th um, there's a lot of snow on the ground so caches that even are marked 1-1 right now are unfindable um, in some cases because they are um, buried in snow or stuck in ice um, so yeah if you're not familiar with pocket queries and you do a lot of road trips and you're looking for an easy way to find the caches you want to find um, maybe a particular type that you like to get or even ones that are you know marked at um, you know park and rides or rest areas along the interstate you can uh, create a query that will just show you show you what you want to find and make it quick and easy and uh, keep your trip fun so uh, I guess that's all for today we have about four more hours on the road so see you back in the Twin Cities